welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and do a clean out. I just want to preface this by saying, as usual, these were all good products that I'm just not picking up for one reason or the other. So if you love them, I loved them too. And I'm going to start with the big guns. Two Morphe palettes. And I love the formulation of these. They're just not getting picked up because I have duplicated too many shades. The 350M. I ought to be picking this up all the time, and I'm not. And I think it's because of the Urban Decay Heat Too Faced Peachy Matte Palette. I just have several. And this just gets lost. Someone else will use this and love it. Then the 35W. And this one looks like I ought to be picking it up all the time because I love this pink. I love the peaches down here for my um, lid. It's got great transitions. And again, it's just not getting picked up. And I want this to get loved on. So I'm going to send this on to somebody that I know will love that. Okay, next, I'm cleaning out the Olay Gen Regenerist. This is great. It has ceramides, niacinamide, and I might ought to be keeping this instead of some of the ones that I'm keeping. But I have some that have kind of outshined this, and it's just sitting there going bad. This is actually probably two years old. So it's probably expired anyway. Okay, next I'm cleaning out What a Tease Back Comb. This is too stiff even for me. If I use this, I have to definitely wash. And I just pick others over this. I like the other Big Sexy Hairspray better than this. I like my Bamboo. I like my Paul Mitchell. This just never gets used. Okay, next, I'm tossing this Maybelline Master Conceal because I never pick it up. And I just feel like this ought to be great. I ought to feel like I love it. And then I use it and I don't. I remember when I put this on, immediately love it. And then it kind of wears off patchy on me. This just doesn't ever work out. I'm just going to have to not buy that again. Then I'm passing on this brand new Makeup Revolution. I, this is another one I keep trying. I don't want to give up on it. And it just never works out for me. I love it when I first put it on. It's beautiful and velvety, and then it just doesn't wear well on my skin. I know a lot of people love this. I remember thinking it reminds me of the ColourPop one, which is also nice. This Makeup Revolution is super nice. It just doesn't wear quite as well on me as some of my others, so. Okay, next, I'm passing on several Skin Deva products because it has hyaluronic acid in it. I thought I was going to be able to use this, y'all. I think I even said in a video I had figured it out. I have not. I can use it for a while with moisturizer on top of it, spritzing underneath. It just ends up leaching moisture from my skin. It can't pull it from my desert air, so it pulls it from my face. I think I can use hyaluronic acid if it's listed kind of down on the list, but when it's in a serum, as one of the mains, I cannot. The Coenzyme Q10, passing this on, the 20% Argiraline, I probably will just trash this because it's halfway gone. I don't know. I cannot do the hyaluronic acid. So if I said that in a video, I changed my mind. The Buffet, same reason, hyaluronic acids in this. This is brand new, I'll be passing that on. The Luna, this was in a video as a fail. I wish I'd returned this. It caused little white, I don't remember, Melia. It caused little white Melia on me. I am the one person that cannot use the Luna oil, and I'm so sad. I really wanted to use this. I love a good oil. So I'm passing that. It is a very nice oil for most people. Okay, then I'm passing on these Milani lip toppers. These are lovely. I have to work with them a little bit so I don't pick them up. Instead of these, I pick up my Jouer, which was not real pricey. If you want to try a Jouer lip topper, these weren't real pricey. Well under 20, I believe. These are a little more subtle, and these go on real strong. If you want a really good, bold lip topper, these would be the ones to try. Okay, then I am getting rid of, hopefully passing these on because these are a good product, the Moroccan Oil Root Boost. I just don't notice a lot with these. I've, sometimes they're hit or miss. Sometimes my hair does great and I do get a root boost. I just coat my hand with it and then just at the ends because if I get this on the roots, it really weighs my hair down. I forget to do them and then it's hit or miss. Sometimes it looks great, sometimes it doesn't and I kind of don't want to risk it. So I'm passing this on to somebody that loves it. Okay, next, Burberry Liquid Lip. This dried me out so bad. I was just picking and picking at my lips. I'm tossing it. I kept thinking, well, I'll try it over something creamy. I just won't work that hard. So this is almost brand new. I will hand that off too. Okay, next, I'm going to pass on this Tarte 
matte foundation. I should have tried the dewy one. This matte is so matte, I can hardly blend it. Now, I could mix it with some other things. Y'all, I will not. I have too many beautiful foundations right now I'm obsessed with. The Superstay, the Dior Forever. I wore that by itself in Wyoming every single day. Then I have a new one by Lancome, the Renner She Lift. The Clinique Even Better Glow. I could go on and on. There's so many, I need two faces. So I'm not going to try to squeeze this in. I will hand it off to someone that wants a matte foundation. Maybe my daughter. Then the Essence. I love Extreme. I know people love this. This did not do great on my eyelashes. I can't remember why. You know, if you want a volumizing mascara, this is worth a try. It was under $5, but it did not work for me. And I'm going to trash that because it's pretty old. Another Master Conceal. That's how sure I was I was going to love it. I got two of them. I gotta stop that. Then I'm tossing the Elizabeth Arden lip oil. Not tossing it. I'm passing this on. I do not pick it up. It's gonna go bad. So I'm gonna pass this on to somebody that will look beautiful in it. Someone will love that. It will give the love it deserves. Okay, next, this Vivid Hot Lacquer. I've had several of these. This goes on a little bit dense and matte and heavy for me. So I'm gonna pass this on and um, to somebody that will love it. I'm passing on this Marc Jacobs. This is a bronzer brush. I won't use that for a bronzer. I, I have to have a smaller brush. It's dense. It's beautiful. I ought to love it, and I just don't. Someone will love this. My daughter has one of these, and she loves it. Okay, then I'm tossing this Maybelline Master Camo in the Apricot. I think this would cover okay on me, but it's a little bit dark. This is the Apricot one, and I, I love the pink one. I love it. Now, these run out super fast, y'all. I love the pink one that runs out super fast. So I'm tossing the apricot. Okay, then I have another Vivid Hot Lacquer because I'm always sure that I'm going to love stuff. Okay, then I have this ColourPop. I love Sarahi by ColourPop. This is really pretty and I just never pick it up. Me and ColourPop, I like their stuff and a lot of times I just never end up picking it up. It kind of gets lost in my shuffle. Okay, then I'm throwing away two Becca Highlighters. These are Champagne Pop. These are very subtle. I just have like 20 others I like better. I don't pick up liquids very often. And when I do, I can barely see this. And this is really subtle, lovely. But I just don't pick these up. So I'm going to pass these on to someone that I know loves, the Becca Champagne Pop. Okay, then I have a NYX Jumbo Stick that I ordered in Cottage Cheese. I love my milk stick for on my eyelid every day of my life. This one has a little bit of a shimmer. And I just do not pick, not bad, but enough that I don't pick it up. So I'm going to pass this on again to someone that I know loves. A little bit of shimmer. This came in a little cuddly gift set at Sephora. This was a cleanser and it's a mousse and it just is kind of watery and weak and didn't get a lot of makeup off. And so I was like, I'm not sticking with that. I have too many cleansers I'm trying to get through that are good. I love cuddly though. Their grape water is Top of my list. I love it. And then finally, I'm throwing away some fragrances that are just sitting there. The pink, fresh and clean. I might ought to put this in my purse. No. I don't really know what that scent is, but it's kind of harsh. I like a vanilla or a coconut or a citrus, and this just kind of is nondescript, alcoholy. Okay, next, this Michael Kors in Sexy Ruby. I got this as a Christmas gift. It is so full, and I feel like I ought to love it. But I never pick this up, and I keep thinking, I think I'm going to love that. I think I'm going to wear it, and then I never pick it up. I think my mother-in-law would love this. And then this one kind of hurts me. This was one of my favorites, and I still love it. I still love that. Viva La Juicy, I think this one is. And I just, yeah, Viva La Juicy. I don't pick this up anymore. I'm going to see if my daughter wants it, pass it down the line. So anyway, that is everything I'm cleaning out right now. Great products that I'm just not picking up for one reason or another. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.